as many in America know, um, our people, the Navajo Nation, have been one of the most uh, natural resource uh, natural resources exploited people in the world. My name is Norman Patrick Brown, and I'm a member of the Denebadzi movement. It's a Navajo strength movement. It's a grassroots movement here on the Navajo Nation. There are many issues that uh, I'm concerned about, as well as many on the Navajo Nation. I think we're more concerned about what our future, the future that lies ahead for us, politically, economically, uh, culturally. But more, most importantly, I think majority of our people are concerned about what the future of our, our land will look like or what the future of our land will be. There's no other country in the world that, or land in the world that has been so devastated by natural resource extraction uh, issues. Uh, uranium mining, which continues to devastate our, our community, our people, our water, our genes, our DNA genes. But now it's gotten to a point where the most valuable of all our natural resources are our holy mother, our water. And I think that's my grave concern. I think that's the majority of our people's grave concern is how the system that was put in place continues to utilize its policies through the corporations and through the federal government to deny us our basic right, our spiritual right, our cultural right, to utilize the water and to create a better life for our people. Our people have always been an independent people in terms of how we lived our lives politically, socially, uh, culturally, economically. Our Navajo people were a great power here in the Southwest. The Ne, Nahokati and the Ne, Holy Earth Surface People is what we called ourselves. And the songs that I sing and the prayers that I say are the same energies that move this universe. So that's what motivates me is my love for this land, my love for this Mother Earth. But the most important thing that motivates me is what the future will look like for my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren. When you carry this belief with you, there's many nights you can't sleep, there's many days you can't eat, and there's many stresses in life that you have to endure to speak for your land and your people. Regardless of the hardships and the suffering and the pain that many of us endure, it's worth it because we love our land, we love our people. Many, many people call us warriors. What does warrior mean? It means you fight to your last breath for what you believe in. You fight to the last breath for all the injustices that come upon you, that you fight with your last breath with your beliefs, with who you are and what you are, to oppose anything that will destroy your land and people. The first words that come out of our prayer is, Mother Earth, I am your child, I'm your grandchild, I am your precious baby. This is who I am. And with these words, I ask for blessings for me in my work, in what I say, in what I do throughout the day for you and for all of creation. <laughs> 